I work out with everybody else, or I don't work out at all. Mariel Hemingway arguing with her Olympic track coach there, Scott Glenn, in Personal Best, one of four new movies we'll be reviewing this week on Sneak Previews. Across the aisle for me, Roger Ebert, film critic of the Chicago Sun-Times. Across the aisle for me is Gene Sisko, film critic of the Chicago Tribune. Our next film, Personal Best, is about two women athletes in training for the 1980 Moscow Olympics, the games the United States boycotted. The two women meet, they compete for the same event, and they fall in love. You might naturally assume, therefore, that the movie is about homosexuality, and so it is. But I think its primary subject is competition. The two women's competition with other athletes, their competition with each other in the pentathlon event, and their fierce personal competitiveness as champion athletes. Competition is what eventually destroys their love relationship. The movie stars Mariel Hemingway, who was Woody Allen's teenage girlfriend in Manhattan, and Patricia Donnelly, a former Olympics marathoner. In this scene, near the breakup of their relationship, they're facing the possibility that they cannot continue to be both competitors and lovers. I'm at the women's gym, then who's going to spot you? Tingloff. Tingloff? Wait a second. Tingloff? Yeah, Tingloff. Oh, isn't that nice? Hi, guys. I just, just don't understand why you get so angry. I think you do. Oh, God, can we just go work out? Do whatever you want. That's just it. I can't. I can't stop worrying about you. What about me? What you're thinking. What you think I think. What you want. Everything. I don't... So, you worry about what everybody thinks. Why should you be different with me? Hi. Come on, you guys. Either you move out or I move out, and we really are just friends. No. No. Oh, hell. Don't worry, we won't work out together. No, that's not it. I want to work out. You make me feel like I can do something, like I'm going to do something more than Tingloff. I just... What? Need you. Both performances are interesting there. Mariel Hemingway is a kind of lovable, shallow, inarticulate child. And Patricia Donnelly is a woman who's been hurt too often. Donnelly is an American Olympic athlete. This is her first performance as an actress. It's surprisingly mm -hmm. good. What's being hinted at there is the possibility that Donnelly, the older athlete, is jealous both because Hemingway may have found herself a boyfriend and because Hemingway, her protege, may turn out to be a better athlete. Their shaky relationship also bothers the coach of the uh, women's Olympic team, played by Scott Glenn. And here he tells Hemingway how he sees things. Starting next year, I want you to do pentathlon. What's wrong? I don't think I can do that. Mm. Well, if you can't, you can't. You got speed. Strength of body weight that's unreal. I misjudged it all. You know, Chris, there's room for more than one in the country. One what? Pentathlete. If Tori goes to the games, that leaves room for two more. I wasn't thinking about that. Of course you weren't. I wasn't. I'm agreeing with you. You 
really think you know it all, don't you? No. No, like one thing I don't know. I don't know what scares you more. Getting beat by Tori Skinner or beating her. So Hemingway decides to go for the pentathlon, but she's still uptight about competing with her friend who she sees in the cafeteria. If you go, say, 13, 35 or better, you've got an edge. No, it'll be uphill all the way. Look at me. I said, look at me. Let go of my arm. You're not going to say a word to her. The day you run my race, you run my life. Did I get my turn? Now imagine how many bodies you all buried to get here. The games, the javelin, the discus, the shot, their weapons. Don't kid yourself. You're here to kill anybody that gets in your way and all the rest is bull. Get up from this table now. You're on your own. Mariel Hemingway is just great in this movie at playing a kid, a person who's face reflects all of her emotions and whose heart is really, she's wearing it on her sleeve. One of the best things about Personal Best is that the movie is a knowing and thoughtful exploration of many of the issues of sports at the Olympic level. It quietly accepts the homosexuality of its two main characters without making a big deal out of it, and it goes on to explore several other subjects, including the rigors of Olympic training, the problem of trust in a romance between competitors, the pressures to win or sometimes the pressures to lose and the emotional development of the younger girl who still has a lot to learn about life. She's a lot better at running the 800 meters than she is at mapping out her own feelings. Now, Personal Best is a film that approaches sexuality and sports with the frankness of the locker room. There's complete nudity in this movie. It's an adult picture, and I have a feeling it's going to be controversial, but I think it distinguishes itself with an absolute openness and honesty, and I recommend it. So do I. I think it's an absolutely wonderful film, and I want to give this sort of a strange praise by saying I like this picture because I didn't know what it was about until mm -hmm. it was almost mm -hmm. at the end, when there comes across a, a, a statement, I think quite a beautiful one, about competition and that all that you can really compete with is yourself, mm -hmm. that the real measure is uh, making your best effort that day, and hopefully it's better than the previous day. But before that, this film is a mystery. And by that I mean we see this relationship, it comes on us as a surprise. I didn't expect the two women to get involved with each other. Then the film unfolds, and I was just following it like life. Like I, a story. Like a real story. This is the kind of movie, I think we've had discussions like this on sneak previews before, the kind of movie that we look for, where two particular people are closely observed for the length of the film, yes. in terms of who they are, how they behave, how they talk, how they relate to each other. It is not as if the director, Robert Towns, said, I'm going to make a movie about two homosexual women. Right, no. He said, I'm going to make a movie about two athletes. They're women. They fall in love with each other as if that is part of the development of the film rather than some kind of a box office concept. Yeah, uh, you mentioned Robert Town. This is his first film as director. Uh -huh. He's written some of the greatest screenplays of recent years, Shampoo, Chinatown. The writing is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I guess as a writer, he comes up with these interesting, lifelike characters, mm -hmm. and that's why this film works. It's a remarkable effort for a first-time director. And finally, two yes votes for personal best, starring Mariel Hemingway, a beautifully written film that sees athletic competition competition with oneself. So on this show, I'd say the one we agree on the most personal strongly best. is Personal Best, the real, let's put it this way, an adult film. We yeah. Are, you know, some I, people are going to be very shocked by it. Except I think that what keeps you going on this picture is that it just seems on the mark. There don't mm -hmm. seem to be too many false statements. In and the they're film. not looking for sensationalism in terms of the sexual content. No. It's not an exploitation film. Straightforward.